Among the actors who have to follow the strictest rules, there are those who portray great superheroes, regardless of whether they are male or female. So, for actress Karen Gillan, it's quite a challenge to play her character Nebula. She can't even attend couples therapy due to the demanding nature of her role. Let's take a look to all the strict rules the actress has to follow in order to give us one of the best performances in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Portraying the character of Nebula hasn't been easy for Karen. Beyond requiring extensive makeup sessions to acquire her robotic and bluish tone she possesses, Nebula is a particularly demanding character who started as a villain, then became an anti-heroine and finally ended up as a hero. And as we mentioned, just the makeup alone took her 4 hours to get it perfect. But it's not like just putting on makeup and that's it. No! Apart from having her face covered in makeup, she had to wear prosthetics to give Nebula her distinctive features, which also required their own strategy. Karen has confessed that this process was soft and frustrating, because there was no room for mistakes in the makeup. But to add another layer of difficulty, after completing all the makeup, she had to spend another 2 hours to arrange her hair. Well, we know that Nebula is an alien who doesn't have hair, but Karen does. And she needed to hide her long hair. In previous installments, one of the rules imposed on the actress is that she had to cut her hair, precisely to avoid all the hassle of arranging her long hair under a bald cap. But since this is the last installment in which the actress will participate, she didn't want to go bald for the portrayal of Nebula. Another thing she confessed is that many times she had to secure the bald cap with many hairpins, and this created a lot of pressure that would later give her a tremendous headache. But the actress was happy, because she loves her character very much. To complete the full image of her character, she had to give Nebula a distinctive outfit. And it is not very comfortable, as you can tell at first glance, because it was very uncomfortable to wear during action scenes. Just imagine doing exercise in demon jeans. It's practically impossible. But since we're talking about action movies, one of the strict rules that she has to follow is to maintain her balanced diet. Her diet is not as strict as Keanu Reeves, but she does try to stay in shape, because Disney doesn't like their actors losing that sculpt body, as they have to promote their movies in different places. So, physical training is key to maintaining all those muscles. Karen has to dedicate 2 hours a day to her training, and she does it in the morning, from 6 to 8 am. Her strength training had to be completed by then, and of course, no tamales on the weekends. But one of the toughest things for these actors is that they practically devote their lives to the complete development of their characters, including filming and all the preparation needed. We know that movies are not shot or completed in 5 months, some take years. And during all those years, actors don't have time for themselves. They work long hours without rest, and it was so intense that Karen herself admitted that she couldn't even attend couples therapy, because of the time consumed by the filming. She even appeared dressed as Nebula in one of her therapy sessions. And to perfect Nebula's distinctive voice, she didn't achieve it overnight. She had to practice for many months to find the perfect voice, because Nebula evolved throughout all her movies. At first, she was a complete villain, tough and seemingly emotionless, but in the last installment, everything changed completely, and her character became a bit more vulnerable and longing for love. So, the directors mainly told her to try to imitate Marilyn Monroe and Clean Eastwood at the same time. She doesn't have a Scottish accent. The, no, it, she's got an American accent. Yeah, so how do you, did you work with a dialect coach or how did you come up with the um, voice? No, basically James Gunn, the director, was like, I want you to do an impression of Marilyn Monroe and Clint Eastwood at the what? same time. Well, I used to long for it. I used to appear on when I was modeling. Doesn't mean that you have anything in common with that person. Sometimes you do. If she succeeded, she would quickly know how to work with her character. That's why she has a raspy voice with an American accent. I will hunt my father like a dog and I will tear him apart slowly. 
This also helped her know what movements her character had to make and how Nebula should feel. Because Nebula's personality was one of the most challenging things for Karen, since she has said that she and Nebula have nothing in common. Nebula has a rather rough character, while Karen is a quite feminine and cheerful girl. So that naturally rough character proved very difficult for her. She had to do her own research to develop the character. Her research focused on psychological studies that explained people's personalities. But her psychological research didn't stop there. One of the most challenging things during all the years she portrayed Nebula was to recreate the role of this misunderstood sister. Karen is an only child, so she didn't understand how sibling rivalry felt. And for this, she had to delve into other psychological studies to portray a sister who functions as a scapegoat and is never good enough in her father's eyes. She read many psychological essays on the subject and had to talk to many people about it to put herself into the shoes of those who go through such experiences. And lastly, one of the rules she found very fun was improvising in the scripts. It's not like everything they have to say have to be exactly as written in the scripts, my friends. The scripts only describe the action and what's happening. They don't dictate the exact sentences the characters have to say. In some cases, it might be required. But this rule is mainly to encourage actors to improvise and portray their characters in the most natural way. That's why they must have a clear understanding of each character's personality and objective. Karen has said that to achieve this, she didn't see Nebula as a villain. She simply tried to understand everything Nebula did and why she did it. Well, my friends, that's what the actress Karen Gilligan had to face in order to store as Nebula. Would you be willing to portray her?